Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to the all-new Channel 2012. Today we're going to be taking the side off and taking a look inside and around uh, my Pentium 4 so-called sandbox computer that I've kind of set up solely as an experiment for running Windows 8. It actually runs pretty well, despite the age of the setup here. And we'll be taking a closer look at that here in today's video. So before we get started, I'll just kind of explain uh, where and how I got this computer and why it doesn't look so great, why it's missing uh, those panels on the front. This was actually part of a freebie on Craigslist. Uh, most of the stuff in there was broken. There was a, it was like an old motherboard that looked like crap and worked, and then there was a nicer one in this case. Uh, it was an Epox motherboard, something or another. And it looked great, but it was totally shot. It did come with a modest amount of stuff to get started, including a video card, which we'll cover later, uh, some fans and cooling, as well as a sketchy power supply which we will go over later as well. So what are you looking at here? This is my Windows 8 so-called sandbox computer. I forgot the name of the motherboard but it is a socket LGA775 Intel board that I got off of eBay for about $30 just so I could get this thing going. That came with a 2.8 gigahertz Pentium 4 which you see there with the cooler on it. We got the memory bumped up to 2 gigabytes there, uh, no optical drive, um, 80 gigabyte IAD hard drive, 40 gigabyte laptop SATA, 160 gigabyte laptop SATA, nothing too special, stuff I kind of had hanging around. That video card there is the uh, NVIDIA eGeForce 7600 Special EVGA Edition. And underneath that is an extra USB 2 card, because I didn't have anything better to put it in. Underneath that is a Broadcom something or another wireless card. And underneath that is a network card that's not actually even attached. You can see there's the hole for it over there. Uh, it's not even plugged into the motherboard. I'm just using that to cover the slot, because I don't like uh, empty slots in the back of the computer. Underneath that are just some USB ports that attach onto the header on the motherboard. And underneath that is just another blank. All that is powered by the sketchy Solar Max 300 watt power supply. So let's go ahead and start it up. Here's that sketchy power supply again. The reason a power supply is sketchy is because it makes a high-pitched whining noise uh, when power is applied to it, but the computer is off. Go ahead and start it up here. Turn on the monitor. Our monitor here, we're rocking the NEC Multisync LCD 1550M. We'll pull up the BIOS settings real quick here. Nothing too exciting. It uh, Strangely enough, it is missing the option on the post screen to just hit a button to change the, to a different boot device, which is a little disappointing. Other than that, there's plenty other settings that can be changed in here. It's a pretty typical Intel board BIOS, nothing too noteworthy. As I mentioned earlier, we are running uh, Windows 8 64-bit on here. And while that's starting up, we'll take a look at what we got plugged into whoops, the back of the computer here. In addition to the power mains, obviously, we've got a PS2 keyboard and that uh, wireless mouse, which we'll look at here in a second. We have sound. That is the uh, LabTech LCS2414 speakers actually aren't that bad. They're from the uh, late 1990s. They sound pretty good. And then we got this hooked up to the video card.
and those are the wireless antenna. For mouse, we're using a, actually a sketchy, kind of old, um, so-called model new scroll wireless. Uh, it is a ball mouse, but it does work better, surprisingly enough, than any of the cheap optical mice that I tried on this desk. So some brief notes on Windows 8. Um, it's a mixed bag. For everything I like about it that I liked more than I did Windows 7, there's a handful of other things that really uh, pissed me off about it. As far as installation goes, it installed uh, pretty quickly. It did not take long at all, maybe 15 minutes to a half an hour. And it does start up very quickly, at least I thought. After I installed it, I found pretty much all the drivers that there were to find for this computer. Scored a 3.8 on the Windows Experience Index. I believe that was limited by, let's see, the processor. Next to that, my lowest score was actually the graphics card, obviously enough. And I'm not going to go too in-depth with Windows 8 here right now. So I'm actually planning on doing another video about it at a later time, uh, but just so you guys can kind of, you know, see what it's like. But that's pretty much the, uh, the setup there. That's the Windows 8 Pentium 4 so-called sandbox computer. Um, I mean, it's not, a, it's not like a main computer or anything, but it gets the job done for basic browsing and stuff. So if any of you guys have an old Pentium 4 machine hanging around that you want to try something new with, I would actually recommend trying Windows 8 on it, although I wasn't terribly impressed with it. It did have some strong points, which we'll, like I said, we'll cover in, the, in my actual Windows 8 tour video of it. Anyway, thanks for watching the video here on the all-new channel 2012, and I'll see you guys next time.